Hello folks, how are y'all doing on this beautiful sunny day? This is Principal Scott coming to you from Britton Deerfield Schools. I'm right here at the Britton Building and I would love to take you on a virtual tour of the school. So come with me. Don't be afraid of these this year. We all have to mask up. This is students and our staff. And behind me here is the main entrance. This is the main entrance where the high school students will be entering. So come with me as we enter this school building today. And yes, I'm gonna take this off so you can hear better. There's no one here, nobody here today, but this is our main entrance. And you will enter these doors and there's one of two things you can do. You can head down for breakfast and get it and take it to your classrooms, or you can go straight to your classroom. Come with me now while we head down the main hallway here of the Britton building. Behind me is the main entrance where we just came in. This is heading down towards the cafeteria behind me here. We are now heading to one of my favorite places in the school. The lights will come on. This is our gym. Beautiful, beautiful gym, brand new floor. This year our PE classes will be outside as much as possible, but if we have to be inside, there's plenty of space in here to social distance, and our PE teachers, both for elementary and high school, are going to do their best to make sure that social distancing is occurring. Let's take a step in Mr. Clark's room. Mr. Clark teaches advanced math, and as you can see, he's got one student per desk, six feet of space in between. Now don't, there may not be six feet from table to table, but from person to person, it almost looks like Mr. Clark has worked it out to more than six feet per person. And Mr. Clark is a math teacher and he's all about numbers, so I'm sure these are exact. Right, Mr. Clark? These are our trophy cases that we take a lot of pride in. Mr. Johnson works hours on these each year, making sure they're clean. So you'll have to come in and make sure you take a look at everything we've done over the years. Now we're gonna enter one of the high school classrooms. This happens to be Mr. Johnson's classroom. Mr. Johnson teaches health and PE, um, mainly to our freshman students. He also does an advanced PE class for other high school students. But as you can see behind me here, all his desk are distanced apart. From mouth to mouth, they're six feet apart. And uh, you'll notice this in all of our classrooms, everybody's doing their best to make sure everybody's safe. This was new last year. This is our hallway TV. It's right outside of the gymnasium, right before the elementary wing hall. This is uh, the screen that you will get a lot of your updates you will be able to read updates, see updates, or it could be videos loaded. Uh, the kids really love this. This next entrance that we call the flagpole doors, because it's next to the flagpole, will be the entrance for our first, second, and third grade. We will have stations outside of the school where they will line up six feet apart in order to come in and the doors will open at 740. At the beginning of the year, the teachers will make sure we're out here and we will enter these doors here. Brand new carpets, I love them. We're very proud of this entrance. Now, when we get here, of course, we have our temperature check stations and the children will have two choices. If they are not in need of breakfast, they will head down this hallway to their classrooms. If they need breakfast, they will make a right and head down to the cafeteria to grab their breakfast and then head back to their classrooms. Let's head down the elementary hall and take a look at some of those classrooms.
So I just walked down the hallway, passing the preschool room, and the first classroom here that we're going to visit is Miss Colgel's kindergarten classroom. This is the kindergarten classroom Ms. Kozel has set up, taking time to make sure everything is distanced. We have smart boards in all of our classrooms. They will be trained in Google Classroom this year, and the kids are just going to enjoy it and love it, and I can't wait to see them in this environment. As we leave Ms. Kozel's classroom, there's another entrance to our gym. We have a little smaller gym, we call the multi-purpose room. This is where high school band takes place and choir. And then we come down, this is what we call the elementary hallway. This houses young fives kindergarten split through third grade. So we'll go through these. This is Mrs. Bush's room. Miss Bush has our second graders this year, her and Miss Charlotte for. Look at this. Doesn't this look fun? Now we'll head in Miss Kuzno's room. Miss Kuzno's got it all set up for social distancing purposes. This looks amazing, Mrs. Kuzno. Third grade. And I'll show you one more classroom. I don't want to go through everything, but these doors here are the doors we could head outside to go for recess. There will be nobody in that back parking lot this year. Our staff has to park in the east side of the building in the parking lot. This is Miss Nicewander's room. Miss Nicewander will have the first grade. Look at that. All set up, ready to go. Just a couple little ends to tidy up and Miss Nicewander will be ready for the year. The future of the world is in this school. And we here in the school district believe that. Okay, we're gonna head back down the hall, back towards the flagpole doors, and we're gonna show you the cafeteria and the cafeteria entrance that our young fives and kindergarten students will be entering. Okay, before we head down into the lunch rooms, I wanted to show you we have some history here in the Britain building. So make sure you take a good look at that. But the first room we're going to show you this year, we have to make sure we're social distanced for lunch. This is the old drama room. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, at least for the first semester, we will not have drama. This will turn into a makeshift cafeteria this year. And as you can see, everyone will be spaced at a minimum of six feet. Everyone will have their own table and this room will be disinfected between every lunch hour. There will be two elementary classes in here, but not at the same time. One class at a time will eat their lunch, it'll be disinfected, and then we'll have another elementary class come in and have their lunch. Of course, we will leave the drama room and we have our normal cafeteria. And the students will have to walk around the main hall here and make sure they enter the cafeteria. If they're buying a lunch, high school or elementary, that is the door they will enter. If they're using the cafeteria and they brought their lunch, we're going to go inside here and show you what this looks like. So again, students will come in. We will not have the salad bar this year. We can't have shared items. They will get their hot lunch in line. And we will also have a grab and go option as well. And when they come out, they will find a seat in the cafeteria. The way it's set up this year, these tables are eight feet. So we'll have a student sitting here with their feet on each side of the legs and a student sitting on this side with their feet on each side of the legs. That will make sure they're six feet apart. 
It's only two students per table. We have 35 tables. We have room for 70 students, which in our school, we never have 70 students in here at one time. Also, if you notice on the stage, the stage has also been turned into a cafeteria. When our elementary students are in here, they will walk up. There is a nice ramp right over here. They will get their food, walk up the ramp and around, and they will enter up here on the stage. Of course, the curtain will be closed and it will be monitored by an adult. And we will have two students per table. And there will be two elementary classes that will share this area, but not at the same time. It will be one class at a time. When that class is finished, it will be disinfected. The next class will eat and enjoy their lunch. So those are the three areas where our students at the Britton Building will be eating lunch. For our young fives in kindergarten, the cafeteria doors is what we call it because this is right next to the cafeteria, will be their entrance. Outside here is where the buses park and they unload. High school students will walk down the sidewalks to go to the main entrance. First, second, and third grade students will also walk down the hall sidewalks to the flagpole entrance. And this year, this entrance will be for our young fives in kindergarten. I don't know if anyone has noticed, but we had made sure this used to be landscape. We have upgraded the school and added new concrete and there will be plenty of space out here to stage our young ones and Miss Kozel and Mrs. McCarran will be out here making sure the students are safe and they will take their students to the classroom once the routine is down of course parents you can make sure your students walk in through these doors if they need breakfast, they grab it and take it to their classroom. If they do not need breakfast at 740, they can head straight down to the classroom. I really hope you enjoyed this tour of the school. This is a place we love. We hold dear to our hearts. Everything about this place all the students, all the families. We wouldn't be here without you. Just know we're doing our best to keep you safe. We want to educate you. We want to make this a very fun year. And remember, BD, mask up.